All right, in this video, we're going to talk about how to import items into Zotero using ISBN numbers. Um, you can also use DOI numbers or PMID numbers uh, with Zotero, uh, but this, the step-by-step -step process will be the same as the ISBN numbers. You might want to use this feature because you are um, because you're working from a physical book rather than uh, a database, and so uh, most books will print their uh, ISBN numbers, at least nowadays, here on the back, usually right above the UPC code. Or if you have a hardcover book or an older book where they didn't do that, uh, you can go to the title page, flip it over, and usually somewhere down towards the bottom you'll find the ISBN number. In order to enter in the ISBN number, what you'll have to do is find the little icon right here with the wand, click on that, and this dialog box pops up. It's important to note that the ISBN numbers um, in Zotero are pulled from worldcat.org. Worldcat.org is basically a super catalog that gives you access to tons of libraries and their books all at the same time, so you'll know where to pick up something. Um, we also have, we also use that mainly for our interlibrary loan from Southeastern. Uh, so uh, I say that because sometimes you'll run into a problem where the ISBN number on the back of the book isn't showing up in uh, Zotero. It's rejecting it. It will give you an error message. Uh, so you'll have to go to WorldCat to find that, which kind of defeats the purpose. Uh, in the case that I'm showing you today, that's exactly what we had to do. So I went to WorldCat, dropped, uh, pulled that ISBN number and then click enter it brings that in you'll still have to do your general cleanup right clicking transforming uh, text to title case um, you may have to clean up the, um, the dates and things like that um, or the address to fit your citation style in this case it didn't give me a uh, short title so i've got to add that too so again you're still going to have to do some of the cleanup that you normally would um, anyways but once you've done it it's there so all right, so that concludes this video. Hopefully this will be the only video where you get to see me because, you know, I'm sorry for that inconvenience, but it was necessary to show you where ISBNs were. All right.